hey guys welcome back to the yoga man zero one official channel and hey guys if you're new to this channel and you see my face for the very first time please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications button so guys today i want to discuss something that is very important and of course we know what is happening in the news but you see on this channel i discuss topics that i think are very very impactful to communities and to people like me who always do a lot of stuff on digital and stuff but today i want to tackle something that is political now guys we know that this is the elections period and we have a lot of campaigns going on for members of parliament from all levels councillors and all that but today i want to draw my attention to the national unity platform and their manifesto that came out just a few hours it is less than 24 hours since the manifesto came out but it looks like the entire population is already having a grasp on this uh, manifesto now one of the most beautiful things about using online platforms is noob which is national unit platform uploaded their manifesto on a website online and this manifesto has been accessed almost by everybody that has a smartphone and all those that have a computer have been able to look at those but what we need to look at now is what is the impact of this okay <clears throat> because if you look back bobby wine has been in this game for three years okay he became member of parliament in 2017 in 2018 2019 he formed a political party and of course he had a movement that was so powerful that is the people power movement now i'll tell you certain things that have changed in this space one we must not sit back and think this doesn't concern us that attitude of saying we the youth shouldn't be involved is something we need to cut out personally as yoga man i have actually all the interest in this election more than ever before because what this manifesto talks about is something that i think is achievable but it's not only me that thinks that way i have watched some writings from some economists and some other political analysts who are saying the manifesto that noob has put out is actually a hundred percent achievable it has got some few features that are very outstanding especially one talking about teachers one talking about health care workers and one talking about the soldiers the men and women in uniform he made a promise of saying the lowest lowest of those paid will be getting one million and everybody is saying this is very much achievable but hey these are the five key points that noob on national unity platform <coughs> has put out to make sure that they encompass they bring together everything that this country needs to be looking at and if i look at those in this manifesto i have it on my laptop here in this manifesto it goes a vote for the national unit platform is a vote for one a people-centered governance two equal access to quality education healthy services and healthy services three inclusive economic development number four land natural resources and environmental protection number five national security and international relations now if you deeply look at these five points that have been summarized here i see a manifesto that touches the painful points of ugandans and i'm not saying these areas are still green the way they were after our independence but what i'm saying is not enough has been done okay we still need people to revamp some of these things that have been mentioned here and i'll give credit you know to the person that has been in charge of this government and what they have done but i think it is time to actually operationalize this kind of actions these actions are things that need to be put into practice and this is why i think the national unit platform has got the gist of this matter now my call here is not to tell you that you vote for bobby wine my call here is to tell you that hey be socially conscious we need to understand the issues that we're struggling with we need to understand the problems that we have as a people look at your generation look at the people around you 
what challenges do we have and what solutions do we need to design and who is able to understand those challenges okay i would understand if you have somebody in power that can actually understand the issues that are affecting the youth i will tell you 70 percent of the population and that is estimated actually it could be even 80 percent 70 percent of the population is in uganda are youth many of these youth don't even have jobs many of them have gone to schools but don't have the skills okay and when i look at someone here saying equal access to quality education and healthy services for me that is a very key point that touches me when i see someone here mentioning national security and international relations you see if you're going to be opening up uganda to interact with other economies uganda to work together with other economies then you must make sure that you have a good international relationship space and for me i think that is very key national security is still very important credit to the gov current government they have done a lot when it comes to security but i think there is a lot that is still remains to be streamlined especially when it comes to the welfare of the forces the welfare of the men and women in uniform their families their spouses and all the people that actually these officers do take care of there is a lot that is left medical attention many of these officers don't have even insurance covers so i think there is a lot that needs to be done and this manifesto actually brings out the entire picture now deeply looking into how the political space has changed and this is something many of you are going to look at and we need all to be concerned bobby wine came on the space in 2017 and when you look at 2017 to now it is three years it is less than five years he has sent he has sent a very good message to the political space to all those that have been involved in this game that you don't need six years you don't need a hundred years to change this space he has delivered a message that touches the soul and heart of every ugandan that touches the soul and heart of every youth that is out there if you look at the numbers he has gotten you know he went for nomination you would see everybody jubilating with a lot of hope he went to chambogo he was nominated thereafter he was arrested okay you saw how people came up to, to you know to raise their voices to say hey this is a presidential candidate this is wrong so what i'm trying to put out here is the space is for us to play we must get involved we must start to think about what challenges we have and who is going to give us the answer enough of the promises guys we have had so many promises in a very very long time we have had people tell us this and this is gonna happen it is 35 years down the road nothing has happened it is time for you and me to take this message seriously to make sure that us we come out and do play our role and our role is not to be violent our role is not to attack each other our role is to understand the issues that we're facing and to also understand the candidate that has given us the right messaging that answers those issues and this is why i'm calling upon you that is watching me and everybody that is going to be watching this video share this message with all your friends we must start to act now we must start to think about our teachers now we must start to think about our policemen and the armed forces now we must start thinking about those healthy care workers the nurses who go to hospitals and treat people but don't have where to sleep the nurses who go to hospital and treat people but don't have a single shilling to go to a supermarket the policeman that protects a supermarket and does not have a coin to enter and buy an item in that supermarket the policeman that cannot afford to take their kids to school this is what we need to be looking out for these challenges that we have today is what we be we have to be working on and for me my call to you i'm not telling you that vote someone you know ready to vote i'm telling you vote someone that gives you the message that brings you the hope to answer the challenges that you have in your communities 
thank you so much for watching this video and i'm going to be looking at this platform i'm going to be looking at the national unity platform manifesto into details every single bit we're going to be discussing so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and tell me what you think cheers guys this is yugaman and hey i'll catch you guys in another video see you cheers